Hey guys, someone asked a question. Uh, they wanted to know, if, can I do the ketosis without a gallbladder, okay? One thing you need to know is on occasion, people do grow a gallbladder back, okay? They can regrow in some situations, especially if they, when they do the surgery, uh, they don't take all of it out. There could be a remnant type gallbladder there, okay? Uh, but the point is that if you don't have a gallbladder, um, you have to realize that in a ketogenic diet, 75% of your calories are coming from fat, okay? And the other thing you need to know is that the gallbladder, the purpose of the gallbladder is to store and concentrate bile. Now, let's back up. What is bile? Bile is the detergent that dissolves the fats and the grease. It's kind of like you wash your hands from grease. Well, the, um, the detergent that you wash your hands with is kind of like uh, similar to bile, so it breaks down fats in the digestive system. Okay, so if you don't have a gallbladder, you're going to just have a little tube from your liver to the small intestine, and it's going to trickle down, but not necessarily at the right time, because when you eat food, that's when your gallbladder contracts and squeezes out a good amount of concentrated by 20x. It concentrates the bile by 20 times more. So all that concentrated bile comes in there, dissolves the fat. So now we have a situation where you just have a trickling, you have less bile coming into the digestive system. Okay, so one thing is a possibility that you can run out. Second thing, you just might not have enough of it. Okay, now what happens, the bile combines also with the enzymes from the pancreas, especially lipase. So bile is supposed to break down fat to small particles, but then the lipase, it's an enzyme, comes in there and breaks it down into even smaller particles for the absorption. So we could have a situation where you have incomplete fat digestion, um, deficiency in fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A for the eyes, the skin, vitamin D for the bones, vitamin E, vitamin K2 that regulates calcium, things like that. So those are some consequences from that. So one of the things that you may want to use, and people want to know what, what supplement is, I would use the gallbladder formula for people that don't have a gallbladder, and a lot of people with a gallbladder take it, but this basically gives you more purified bile salts. So that way, when you're eating, you have enough bile to make this digestion complete. You don't need to take it uh, with every single meal, but at least with one meal just to get some more bile in there. That would be helpful, especially if you start seeing symptoms of fat-soluble vitamin deficiency symptoms, like vitamin A deficiency, vitamin D, things like that. Or even just like your skin start drying out, your hair is drying out, your stool is floating, then we need more bile. So the answer is yes, you should do a ketogenic diet with intermittent fasting because most of your calories are coming from fat, you may want to supplement with the bile salts just to give you a boost, but definitely check out to make sure you're not deficient in any of the fat soluble vitamins as time goes on. Thanks for watching. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.